Hello and welcome back. I'm Bebal Jill and this is a tutorial for Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. Today, part three, and we're going to plan our city. The next thing I would set up is build a long road that's far enough away from the industrial area. This, these two guys, the asphalt and the concrete plant, have pollution. You want to keep that away. The next thing later we're going to do is build a gravel industry here and a gravel processing plant over here that should also be, that's also pollution that you want to keep away from your citizens. So give yourself some room, maybe here, and set up um, the rest of the city. This is just going to be a basic setup. Everyone can have their own. There is no right or wrong answer really. Um, it's just the way I do it. This bus platform looks like you can get to it from both sides. You can't. Well, you can get to it from both sides, but you can't drive through it, which is kind of annoying. There's a mod, modded version of this that lets you do that a little better. This bus platform has a capacity of 500 passengers. At the beginning, it's not important, but later on when you have more buses, this will be very important. You could use this one, but also at the beginning, you can just use a regular bus stop. The capacity here is 200, and it's just fine for what we need. So let's set that up and build the rest of our starting city. How many citizens should you get? At least 200. Um, that's that's my peace of mind number. Um, you don't have to follow that at all. You can do whatever you want. But I say 200 citizens and prefabs. That is, these are 75 each. So two are about uh, 150 if you let them fill up completely and um, Four will give you 300 if you fill them all completely. I set up mine like this, where I only have one junction in the beginning. It makes upgrading the roads easier. Then in the back, um, give yourself some uh, walking path so they can get there. Get to the station faster. Walking paths are always good to have. Um, run one here so we can upgrade them later. Great. Um, there's a couple more things they need. Um, equipment for citizens. At the beginning, a small shopping center is probably fine. Um, there are mod ones again for this that are pretty neat, but this is what I start with. If you play cosmonaut mode, set this up in a place where you can connect a cargo station to it. The shopping center itself has two parking spots. But you have three resources you have to deliver. You can't do that unless you have either a cargo station or something else connected to it that can handle all the resources. And you have two connections, so you can have a meat storage and a warehouse connected to it. There's just there's just more expense to it. Um, and trucks are a little more flexible, but both of them are good options. It's just the meat storage and the warehouse and the vanilla game take up a lot of space. So I will use just a road cargo station again and connect it to this. So now we can send trucks here to unload into um, the shopping center. Great. What else do we need? Um, cinema. You need entertainment, otherwise people will be unhappy. Place it anywhere. Um, again, modded versions, you can get smaller than this. We don't, we're using just vanilla, so we're gonna use that. Connect it somewhere in a couple places. Again, paths the same thing as roads. Keep your junctions small or uh, little, so you don't um, use it up. And then you will need some sport. Now there's a development. If you play with seasons, look at here. It says require weather temperature above five degrees Celsius. Otherwise, this will not run. There is an alternative. You can go to tourism and use an indoor pool. It also satisfies the sport uh, requirement and does not have a temperature um, minimum. So I've been using this one instead of um, instead of the soccer pitch just because of that. It actually runs or works in the winter. And that's reason enough for me to get this one over the sports one. It costs a little more. It needs um, workers, but I think it's worth it. So place that in a place that you like. I will always try to connect um, via, uh, via, via paths. And I highly recommend you turn your mud paths into gravel paths soon because the difference is 
walking speed 60% versus walking speed 112%. That means your citizens can walk a lot further on the gravel path. Totally worth it. At the beginning, it may not matter because I should be able to reach everything anyways in your small setup, but it may not be always true. What else do we need? Um, fire station. Fire station is very important. If you don't have one, guess what happens when you have a fire? Not Nothing good. So set this up in a way that you don't have to... Um, that you have workers getting there automatically. Now I'll just put a path behind here that should take care of that. Pollution monitoring station. Um, just keep your city far enough away from industry so you don't have to worry about that. Um, so this should be fine. Later on, sometimes you may have bad health, and that's bad. And then you may want to check that. Um, a hospital. A hospital is important when you have people that are sick because of winter. And we're going to stop this because we're in April already, or just stop time. Uh, because you're in winter, or just generally bad health, or if you give them alcohol, there may be alcoholism, and um, similar. So you, hospitals are important when you have sick people, but not necessarily important right at the beginning, because you should get healthy people right away. So a hospital is the thing that you want to build soon, but you don't need right away. Um, and that reminds me. You can... And that's what we're going to do. You can choose to just build a football pitch um, at the beginning. And while you're while it's summer, you can use the football pitch, but you would want to build the indoor pool at the same time. It's one of the first buildings you can build so you don't have to pay for your worker force, which is one of the most expensive things that you have, uh, that you have to pay for in the beginning. Okay, that's all the equipment for citizens that's required. Um, did I set this? Cool. Auto purchasing goods was off. Uh, I wasn't sure if I did that. Um, education. Kindergartens. If you don't have a kindergarten, um, your parents can't work. Pretty simple. Just give them a kindergarten. Um, you will use, need a lot of these. Just place them somewhere where it's convenient for you. Schools. At the beginning, you may not need a lot of them because you don't have school age children or adults that don't have education level one. Um, but the more you run along, the more you need the school. So you want to build one. You don't need as many schools as you have kindergartens, but it's just something you want to put somewhere. I think this is a fine place for it. I can build more housing around this later, no problem. So it's just uh, connect all of this uh, so everyone can go everywhere. Cool. I'm adding new junctions here, but the, gra the paths are important to me. So just keep that in mind. That's fine. Uh, everyone should be able to go everywhere. I like it. And this is almost a basic setup. There's still more. Universities. University is a thing that you want to build soon because you need educated people to teach in your school. You need educated people to um, do some engineering work and some... There are some jobs that just require them. Hospital requires them. Um, but you don't need them right away. So keep that in mind. You want to build one of these universities right at the beginning. Um, cool. You may think we're done, but we're not. There's one more thing if you play with seasons on, which is heating. If you play without seasons, you don't have to worry about this. You may not even have the availability. You need a heat exchanger, and I would say just get the big one right away. Your range is pretty big. The heat exchanger has a pretty good range right away. Uh, let's see. Can I get it in here? No, I can't. That's fine. Your heat exchanger has a pretty good range right from the get-go, but you will need more than just one, so um, just place it somewhere where it's convenient to you. I like to put them close to where the road is, because then I can run the pipes near the road, which is a good thing. Next, you want to construct a heating plant. Um, let's see. The heat water tank, in the info if you can read this, is what's important to me. Heat water tank here is 210 cubic meters, versus the large or the normal heating plant is 1050 cubic meters. You're going to need heat, you're going to grow your city. Um, one of the heat exchangers, the one that we just placed, has a heat water tank of 300 cubic meter. So the small one can't even run that. You can set up a small one right away. Use the small heat exchangers to get started then. 
it's just not very efficient and you will have to upgrade this very soon. So this is one of the things that I also like to build right away is the heating plant. You need power, so put it close to your power plant or power um, unit. Set it up there. You can choose to build um, storage for this, a small or a large one. You can just connect it here and you can import to this um, aggregate storage, get the coal in. But um, there is a pretty high storage in the heating plant. It just depends on how much you're really going to use. This is something I think you want because then you have all summer to um, update your storage or um, increase your storage that you have. So that's good because then you can use it up in the winter and you only have to do this once. Um, but in general, you don't need it all the time. So I'll set up that, use the heating pipe to do this, um, to connect this. And I have a rule of thumb. You can lower and raise your heating pipes with E is raise and Q is lower. At least two up, maybe even three. Why? This allows me to um, construct stuff going under the pipes when I want to later on, because these pipes are gonna be there. Doesn't matter what you do, these pipes are gonna be there. I like to run them close to the road and then just connect them to where they are. Heating pipes have a flow of 300 cubic meters per hour. Heat exchangers have a water tank of 300 cubic meters per hour. That means one pipe to one large heat exchanger or one large pipe to three small heat exchangers because they have 100 cubic meters. If your pipes are too long, use a heat pumping station. Um, but same thing, it's one pipe, one output pipe from the heating plant to one large heat exchanger, period. Ah, uh, great. I think we are pretty close to get citizens. This is all still running. How are we doing here? You have bitumen, you have fuel, wonderful. Making sure that these don't have any bitumen or fuel stored. Again, I think they fixed that, but this is pretty much our setup. Now these guys are just gonna come in and fill up all the things that we told them to get. This guy is going to get the food and the clothes that we told him to get. And now we have to concentrate on this area. First, uh, produce, um, build everything that's required. School, required. Kindergarten, required. Fire station, required. Um, this is expensive. Modded ones are smaller. They're good. Um, this one is a luxury, but I think it's required if you want to play Cosmonaut. Um, the, the connection, obviously, your shopping center. Um, the indoor pool is not required because we said we have this guy over here. Now, you see here that the shopping center wants to use food, clothes, electronics, and cold storage. You don't need electronics, so don't worry about it. Um, let's build our playground for the summer. And let's build our cinema for entertainment. We need the bus station. Definitely need the bus station. And that's all our basics done. I have to check something. Buildings. I have set it to get citizens. At the beginning it's fine. It's not the end of the world, but it will just get about 60 citizens and it will be mixed. Um, otherwise you would have to get them um, manually. Either way is fine. Um, if you don't like this, just tear down all these buildings again. Um, build them with get citizens checked or unchecked. I guess uncheck it for the rest of the game because that's probably what you want to do. But now um, we are pretty much ready. These are things that I would like to build with the construction office. Um, so yeah, there's one more thing. I know there's a lot of one more things that I'm talking about here, but there's another thing that we need before we can do something, which is a road vehicle depot. You cannot buy buses to transport anyone or other vehicles to put them on a separate line if you don't have a road vehicle depot. So let's build one of those and we set up trucks for delivering food and clothes and meat to our, um, to our shopping center. Now look here, our dollars just went to zero. This was the last building I just tried to build with dollars, but we don't have any more money. So the construction stops because not enough money to finance building. 
do not take out a loan right now. You don't need it. Loans cost money and you don't, you can't probably can't afford that. So um, what you want to do is just cancel contract and then change to construct from rules. It's a little cheaper anyways, but there's your building. Uh, sorry for clicking so much. What we need is two covered holds. And honestly, I don't go for the smaller ones just because they don't make a difference. This one is a little faster if you want it, but I just like the big ones. So this one is food, this one is clothes, and then we need a refrigerator for meat. And they only have one option here. If they had a smaller one, I would use that. Now let's set up the lines. That's important. It picks up from here, drops off here. So pick up, wait until loaded. Otherwise I don't want you to go and wait until unloaded. So it stays here until the shopping center has used all of the meats that are on the truck. Great because there's a little buffer in the shopping center and you can re increase that buffer by just reducing the stuff that you don't actually need. So let's set this to 50 and we can drop off 10 tons of that. The cold storage only has one ton, but the truck itself has six and a half tons of meat and meat is not consumed super fast. So this should be fine. Tell it ready to go. And we'll pick the next one. Uh, that double click didn't work the first three times. Um, same setup, go from there to here. Here, I want you to be responsible for food, wait until loaded, wait until unloaded here, and drop off food. Same setup, great. Get this guy, almost the same. Um, wait until loaded, I want you to get close, and bring it here, and set this one to wait until unloaded. Close, great. Now, something you need to decide. There are four parking spots in this cargo station. I don't know if you know that. We just set up three trucks to um, move materials from this cargo station. If you would set up a fourth one and all four of them would wait here until loaded and there's nothing to load, um, you wouldn't be able to load anything. So one thing we can do to fix that is take our refrigerator truck and change it a little bit to instead of pick up from the cargo station, which is faster, to get it from the meat storage. Do the same thing, wait until load it, and we just take this one out of the out of the um, line. So now instead of having three trucks here waiting until full, one truck is waiting here until full. You could set one, uh, one up to go to the warehouse to wait until full, but it's probably fine without that. Um, great, so these guys should fill up the food and meat over here and that's great meat is already full these guys are running now let's get our first citizens and you only want to do one at the beginning because what i care about is what are our problems <gasps> you see this we haven't built power power is important if you if you turn with power on and usually when you play hard mode you will have power on that's something we need electric substation let's get this done real quick um, where do you want to put it? Can I put it here? They're just so small that I like to put them in places where they don't block anything else that I would want to build later and that they reach everything. Right there is fine. I don't like the orientation, but I will survive. Here, I will splurge and use um, the big power line. And I will try... Oh, there's a building in the way. I will try to run it close to the heating pipes that we had earlier. Why? It's a little neat and um, it makes your life a little easier later for future planning. They, uh, one of the updates was that you're now allowed to do like, sharper angles with your power lines, which I love. And I totally abuse that. And there we go. We have to build it right away because we need power. If you don't have power, none of these buildings will work. Make sure you build this guy too, because without that, there's no power distribution. And now when we look at this, two workers can't work because there's no kindergarten. There's no kindergarten because they haven't made it to the kindergarten in time. Um, there is a kindergarten that's available and everything is fine. Here. Um, oh, huh, th this is important. All your buildings at the beginning have a number of staff that is set to max. You don't need the max number of workers working here because you don't have that many people needing stuff. So just reduce them to like one or two. Don't do just one, because then you're shifting uh, 
well, switching shifts will always mean there is a period of time where nobody's working in the building. That's bad. You don't need 25 workers in your shopping center. Reduce that to five. When you have more people, increase that. Definitely. Kindergarten, same thing. You don't need... You don't have that many kids. Kindergarten is important, so I set it to four, and that's probably fine. Um, what do we have here? Um, ten teachers? Nope, we don't need ten teachers. Four is totally fine for here. Firefighters will not have anything until you give them a vehicle to um, fight fires with. Pick one. Firefighters, ten. That's not one that I leave at max, usually, because they are important. Okay, let's see. Are they relatively happy? We have four university educated and 48, 48, no, 84, no, 48. German and English, they're not the same in the last two numbers. I always switch them up. Um, but now, just make sure that this looks like there is nothing, nothing broken and that looks fine. Oh, one of the things, if you have buildings that are not, that are being constructed technically, Workers will go there and will try to help you construct those and they won't be available for anything else. So let's turn off all the constructions that are not actually happening and reduce the numbers of max number of workers outside construction office. That means the people that can walk there from their buildings to zero. This is also a new feature, so may as well use it. Um, the construction office will still send out people as much as it can through their buses, but this, this is fine. Um, let's run this a little further, make sure there's no other problems. If there are other problems, it will show you up here. The problems that you should expect are no pub available because they don't need alcohol to be happy. This red line over here, alcohol addiction, it's not alcohol um, needs that are fulfilled. But this number, um, you want this red line to be as low as possible. That's what you want. Health is good. Um, we want to be above 80% satisfied. They just got here, so they're figuring out what they need. I need to get clothes, I need to get meat, I need to get something. That just means they haven't gone to the store yet, or there was nobody working here at the store because they were maybe locked up um, with other buildings um, that they're trying to construct. Okay. Um, this is all good. If this... This shouldn't be really a problem. Now we have people working here, so now when people get here, they will actually get what they want. Um, our goal is to keep this happiness above 80%, and you can check that by citizens living percentage. Happiness, 71%. But it's going up, which is what we want. Uh, and you can look at all the other things here too, what, whatever your citizens need. Um, yeah, so there's a couple things that they don't have. You don't have staff here, so that's bad. But everything else looks like they have what they need, they just haven't gotten there yet. So what you can do is build the rest of the buildings because that will give you more people that can work and they will help you get things done or get things filled up faster than if they weren't there. Current number of shoppers, you only have two people working here, so there are only nine total spots of people that can shop there. If you have more people working, more people can shop. Um, if you have, if you never have enough workers, and there's always a number of shoppers in front of the store, you may not fulfill everyone's needs, even though you have everything they need. That means you need a bigger shopping center. Um, okay, it looks like these numbers go up. The happiness is going up, which is great, which tells me I can buy the rest of the buildings for our citizens, and now we have four buildings with 52 people, so we have about 200 people to start our republic, which is really all you need. And that wraps up part three, city planning. If you like what you saw, like and subscribe. There is one more uh, part to this, and that will be next steps. What should you do next? Should you produce something? Should you export something? Should you build something? Uh, tune in back for that, and that's part four. I hope you like what you saw, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.